Hey guys, Atticus here. How's it going? I am dead tired. It's like 6 a.m. and I haven't been to bed. And I have about 30 hours of traveling ahead of me. This is my last sleepless night in Korea. And I've just had a few things to do and, and I have to catch a bus at like 3 hours. And I don't have an alarm clock so I don't know if I'm going to get any sleep. So might as well make my last video log from Korea. So I've been thinking a lot about what I've gained in the last 14 months and it's astounding to me. It's it's astounding, you guys. My life has changed in every conceivable way. And there really should have been like a disclaimer when I signed my visa because I I had no idea. Like I had I had my own goals of what I wanted to reach and they were primarily financial and um, gaining some autonomy as well, but, like, one of my goals did not include coming out as transgender. Like, that was not one of my goals, you know? Um, but moving to Korea allowed me to come out. I mean, there, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that it was not a coincidence that I came out as trans two weeks after I moved to K Korea. That's not a coincidence. I had to be completely removed from everyone I've ever known so I could just be myself you know and just embrace myself and God thank you guys thank you too because there are times where I felt really isolated and I've mentioned before that I live in a, a smaller community you know and Dong is is quite small and it's not necessarily English friendly and YouTube has been a way for me to connect with other trans people all over the world and that's been awesome and it's just helped me feel a part of something like establish fellowship and thank you thank you so much because Korea would not have been the same without you guys that's for sure I look so high <laughs> I am not high um, I, I have accomplished a lot in the last 14 months. I've gained financial freedom and autonomy and uh, developed some professional, I don't know, developments, you know. I, I did a, a job well. I... I like kids. Who'd have thought? I never. I didn't really know I liked kids. I knew I liked kids. I was related to, but I didn't know I liked kids. You know, in 14 months, I never missed a single day of work. Not one day at work, and that is not um, common for me. <laughs> like, if it was too cold for me to go out to my car, I would call in. Like, if I didn't want to go to work, I didn't go to work. You know, I. Hell, I was living at my dad's house. Like, why? You know, like. I didn't have an incentive to to make that hard and hard earned buck and now I just feel so motivated and inspired and ambitious. I feel really excited about my future and Korea has helped me get there, you know? And even like the days where I was just like dreading going into class, you know, you just go. You just go. That's what you do. You just fucking go to work. That's what people do They're all over the world. But I couldn't do it before now. And and then it took me, you know, 14 months of practicing it every single day. And now I feel pretty damn good about it. And my work ethic. And my responsibility and what I taught. And overall, I feel like my entire experience here has been very successful. And I've learned how to communicate and... Um, non-traditional ways, you know, um, and it's like, I seriously, I came to Korea as a lesbian, and I'm leaving as a gay man, you know, like, that's a perfect example of how much my life has changed, <laughs> in every respect, it has changed, um, and it's been amazing because the farther away I am from people, the closer I feel to them. Like, the more intimate I feel with some of my family members and my friends. Um, and that's been so rewarding that my friendships could really develop in, in such an intense way. And, I'm sh and, I, and again, it's not a coincidence 
that I've had this new this resurgence of um, intimacy with my relationships. It's not a coincidence that it happened after I came out as trans and after I was able to embrace myself and be more intimate with my own self. That's not a coincidence, you know? And in 14 months, I've accomplished, like, five years worth of crap, you know? Five years of, like, getting my finances together and getting my head out of my ass and just working, you know? And I, I kind of wish that maybe I had narrowed down a graduate program, but... I can't get everything done in 14 months, though I damn near, tr you know, did. Um, and so now it's about the future, you know? I'm done with this chapter, and there's a new chapter. And I, and I don't... I don't even know what it is. And ordinarily, that would have terrified me, because I'm rather obsessive and very meticulous, and there's a very strenuous and rigorous plan, and... Sometimes that plan would be rigid, and uh, my experience in Korea taught me I could not be rigid. There's no way. Um, but, you know, I'm going home, and I am, I am a little concerned about busting the bubble, because people know I'm trans, but they've never had to deal with it, because I came out while I was out here, right? Like, it wasn't something that they ever had to kind of come to terms with and confront their issues. But now I'm going to be home and there's going to be more confrontation as far as, you know, acknowledging and accepting and seeing and, and you know, that's, that's just the way it is. So I am a little nervous about busting the bubble, but it has to be done because so far it's been about talk and now it's, it's about action, you know, and, and in my experience that, Acting has been so rewarding. My acting in Korea, like, you know, doing my job and doing it well and being committed and having a good sense of humor and, gosh, just all these things. And, yeah, so bittersweet. I mean, I'm excited to go home. I'm excited to take a bath. I tell you, I haven't had a bathtub, like, sat in the tub for, like, 14 months. And I'm excited to eat an in, enchilada. An in, in, enchilada, yeah. Maybe I'll eat an enchilada in the bathtub. Sounds like a good idea. Um, so I am looking forward to a lot of things, but I'm sad to be leaving my my little abode, my single room, you know, studio and sanctuary. So here, let's say farewell to the place that I've called home. Mm. It's not at all unique or special now. There's no identifiable characteristics. Um, but it was my place and I loved it and now it'll be someone else's place. Oh and these are this is all the crap that I have to carry with me through a couple different countries and like a couple of different buses and yeah it's gonna be an ordeal. So, anyway, there you go. There you go. Korea. Oh, and look at my cute little pencil case I got myself. Koreans like have these cute little pencil cases, and I guess they have to because they're in school like 18 hours a day. So, pencil cases are kind of like a, a fashion statement, and I wanted uh, one of these for a while. So I got this. I got this today. Cute, huh? Anyway, next time I talk to you guys, I'm going to be stateside. And cross your fingers. Maybe I'll have a job interview. Bye.